Hi Libra, this is your reading for October 2020 and welcome back and if you're new and you've just landed on this page, welcome, I hope you enjoy it. Have a look at the weeklies because the introduction there uh, is a little bit longer and I want to keep this short, get down to the readings, it also cuts uh, uploading time and of course you're dying to know what the story is for October. Please sub and like and hit the bell on all and set the settings in YouTube uh, in the correct way and also in your mobile device and then you'll be notified. There is a video on the weeklies um, in the back screen showing you how to do that and there is loads of new things going to happen, Give free giveaways in the autumn. There's the first episode of the Witches series UK. So have a listen to the introduction of the weeklies. We're going to start your reading with the Transparent Tarot and you've got the High Priestess. The High Priestess, she has the book of answers, of knowledge. She knows everything as she can travel between the earth and the um, underworld. That's the two pillars in the traditional tarot. That's the doorway to the underworld. Okay, so the angels are here and they are giving you a doorway to step through to a new beginning. You might be very intuitive uh, or psych uh, psychic at this moment and we've got two moons in uh, October, the 1st of October and the 31st. So there is a blue moon. If there's two moons in one month we call it the blue moon and look at this you've got the blue moon here so perhaps the 31st of October might be very significant and on the 1st of October okay we are going into uh, a gentler energy as Libra stands for harm harmony and peace um, if you have a look what the uh, Libra energy means for you, there's also a video out there uh, for you. Have a look in the playlists, uh, the monthly energy of the zodiac signs. So, wow. So, uh, the 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 high priest S is represents the goon, uh, moon goddess. So, um, you could be meeting a Pisces as well. But like I said, you might be more sensitive emotionally or uh, sensitive to what you can't see or what you can't touch, that is spirituality. Um, you might be more in balance with your higher self as well. But you must play, play your cards close to your chest. Don't tell everybody everything, okay? Uh, because she is very mysterious and she's also quite secretive. She doesn't tell anybody everything. Although the book is open here, but she usually holds it closed, okay? And or she um, has a scroll in some decks, and that is called the Torah. So play your cards close to your chest. Don't let everybody know what you're doing. And I'm saying this because I think you um, have sown seeds as you've got the Empress. The Empress is Libra. She represents Libra. And she has sows seeds and she nurtures her seeds. Okay. So you might be planning something, a surprise for your partner, for example, or going out and meeting uh, a potential new partner so because the Empress does stand for fertility so the time is fertile to meet somebody if you're not hooked up if you are hooked up you might be planning to go away or go uh, have dinner uh, go out and have dinner with your partner so you're keeping it a secret it might be a birthday surprise if you are going out with a Libra or a Scorpio Wow, exciting! Scorpio is also very mysterious, so the time is ripe to um, pluck your fruit if you have invested in something, if you started to do something, if you haven't sown the seeds yet, then you will be sowing seeds so that you can harvest on a later date. 
this time is also very perhaps at the beginning of the month with the full moon um, you you will be very susceptible to get pregnant as the time is perfect perfect for this okay fertility you could be hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions this can be of a child but this can also be of a project Wow and you're not telling anybody about it what you're planning to do okay look at this when we look put the the transparent tarot card onto the Empress and look where it lands it's right from the forehead so you could be very psychic and right to the heart chakra now I am looking upside down from this so I just want something clear yes the heart chakra and the solar plex so you will be very sensitive because the solar plex is the um, chakra if it's opened and your heart to beautiful things to laughter to uh, to joy that is the uh, in reflexology we call it the reflex the uh, the in Holland it is called the sun fl reflex okay and that's your solar plex that's where the emotions are so you might be very gooey in loving <laughs> I love it I love it ah, it's good it's so beautiful these colors of these cards are so vibrant look at her she's thinking and she's feeling she's her higher self is in balance with her solar plex and her heart so I think you will be getting something or doing something that you really desperately want to do or want beautiful this could be with an other Libra or a Scorpio Libra and I think you are in balance because you've also got temperance and look your cup is overflowing with beauty the rainbow action with the fireball is coming out you're coming into action definitely beautiful then you have the eight of earth the eight of earth is the eight of cups the eight of cups means you are you have recognition and you are also recognizing how beautiful and balanced you are you are absolutely and uh, look at this you've got the rainbows here it looks like the angel wings she's spreading her arms this looks like the tree of life in in a shape of a body and she's like it, it says to me spread your wings and that is exactly what you're doing you are in balance you might be meeting a Sagittarius a Sagittarius represents the temperance card okay so there will be fiery stuff woo nice one go for it and uh, your hard work is paying off the surprise will pay off big time you have so many rainbows I haven't seen so many rainbows in a reading before wow you've got the the colors of the rainbow with the Empress you've got the rain rainbow here with the temperance card and you've got the rainbow with the nine of water you are as happy as Larry there's an ending to emotional difficulties you are totally imbalanced like I said and you've got the nine of water which is the nine of cups your wish is coming to fulfilling fulfillment it could be a baby like I said and you've got the baby here as well he's trying to reach out to its mother beautiful and to top it all you've got the nine of pentacles so material tangible durability long term is all here your wish is coming true for long term and durability you have no worries at all you have two nines so the angels and the universe uh, the divine is showing you signs that they have your back endings big massive endings and new where there's an ending there's big massive beginning here with two nines wow 
and all these rainbows. The rainbows means to me that heaven and earth, or the divine and earth are connected. We are part of it. Don't forget that. You are part of it. Look at this. How wholesome it is. You have enough money or material wealth to expand your family. Whoa, nice one. It's like if she's sliding down with the Nine of Pentacles down towards you on the rainbow. A rainbow ride. <laughs> I love it. Then we have the chariot and the chariot. You're going onwards and upwards, definitely. She might be sliding down towards you, or you might be, you might be going upwards. Wow! Like I said, in your mind and your solar plex, you are in balance. You're coming, and you could also do be doing this with your partner. You are becoming one, definitely. And I could say we haven't got the lovers here, but I say you have met your soulmate, and you might realize now how beautiful uh, your relationship is if you've been together for a while you might even get a new fresh kickstart um, because you are planning a surprise so you are motivating somebody uh, an ex something exciting with your partner Ooh, you might be taking time out going on holiday or moving home because now you have the emotional fulfillment you're secure you're in balance your scales are in balance because you've got two nines so you're in balance okay oh you might be getting married and you might be um, uh, going on honeymoon or moving home you're expanding the family expanding the home you are coming together you have victory you've got recognition because of the eight of pentacles and because you've got victory in the chariot and that also means victory recognition boom from the community and family and friends. This could be with a cancer, um, as the chariot represents cancer, you're moving onwards and upwards, you might be going to the next level in something. Okay, in your relationship, we have the king of air. The king of air is Gemini, but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius, so you could be joining up with them. Um, and they are also an air sign and I did say you might be meeting another Libra because of the Empress now we've got Gemini so those are the prominent air signs in your reading Libra okay now the king of uh, air um, represents institutions and municipalities institution is the registry office or the courts so you might legalize your partnership perhaps that is the next level you could be going to the register or um, going to an attorney to draw up a contract of partnership wow you're going for it my darling you're both coming together you're not going the separate way because you're right bang in the middle of the center or your partner is and you've got the fee for victory wow You've been thinking about this for quite a while. Now, I think that's a beautiful reading. You're going onwards and upwards. So you have it. You have it all. Wow. And the answer of the angels, it says, not the right time. It might be because of the COVID, but you are planning. And I've, I've got a feeling that, that something else is not the, for the right time perhaps it's not the right time to tell everybody like I said perhaps that you want to keep it small because everybody might want to get be at that meeting or that wedding or that gathering or the officiality or somebody else might want to plan it differently perhaps it's not the right time to tell everybody because I said to you play your cards close to your chest before I saw this card and it perhaps get married, elope, and ha do your own thing. That could be the surprise. So that you can be together, okay? 
do what you think is right to maintain the balance. Self-believing and beyond. Yes, believe in yourself. You can do it. You have the balance. There you go. Tell everybody afterwards. Send out messages. You've got a kite here. So send out the messages afterwards. Cast castles in the sky. Dreams can hang in the balance. Sometimes dangling on barely a thread. Or you may find yourself grasping at wisps of visions in the busy intersection of expectation. You may become frustrated when nothing or only very little appears to be happening. Although time may dash, uh, have dashed your hopes or rerouted a few prayers, nothing is lost. What is needed now is to keep your sights set on goodness within you and around you. Keep believing in the beauty and the truth of your heart's desire. Only then will you be carried on the winds of hope and faith. And that is what I said. It's like if she's sliding down the rainbow and everything is jumping out. You've got to keep it to yourself and your partner. Okay? If you find out you're pregnant, don't tell everybody yet. Okay? Do it after the thir first quarter. Okay? I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I think it's a magical reading. So go for it, Libra. You're in your balance and you should be feeling no stress at all. With two nines like that, enough money and beautiful emotions, your wish coming true. Wow. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Please share and like and stay safe. Enjoy October.